Okay, so me and my boys were just here at the uh, at the little go kart racetrack. I, I guess we kind of call these things bumper cars. Um, so you guys raced a couple of times. Who won the first time? I did. Uh, Kelson won the first time. Who won the second time? Me. Caden did. Okay, good deal. So, what kind of safety devices did you have uh, in the in these bumper cars? Oh, we had seatbelts and these little rings around our cars. Oh yeah, yeah. I see. It. It's kind of a bumper all the way around it. And a cushion on the steering. And a cushion on the steering wheel. This says right. no bumping. Oh, that's interesting. So the sticker, I mean, the, the cushion actually says no bumping, and you have a seatbelt on. What were the rules? What did the rules say? Uh, no bumping. bumping. No bumping. So when you guys got out there and were racing, did, what happened? We bumped a lot. <laughs> so you bumped a lot. Why? It said no bumping, and there was a rule. There was a policy that said no bumping. They're called bumper cars, and bumper cars are supposed to be fun. Kind of does seem like that's the name of them, doesn't it? And it's fun to bump. It is fun. But if you bumped too much, what would happen? The, it'll reduce the speed. Oh, it does. So it actually reduces the speed? Interesting. Oh, be, and also you might get in trouble, right? But you bumped a, you bumped quite a bit out there. You think it's pretty normal for people in bumper cars to kind of bump into each other? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Probably, probably right. I think this might be a good example for what we would call normalized deviation. Because the rule said... No bumping. But when we get out there, we bump. bump. Yeah, so I think that's probably pretty normal. And there's actually a lot of safeguards in place to keep you from getting hurt if you do bump into each other. And we do kind of call them bumper cars, don't we? And then when it, you came in for the final lap, when it said slow down, not only did it say slow down, what did it automatically do? Slow us down. Yeah, it slowed you down. So you couldn't have come in fast if you wanted to. So it had a control in place there to keep you from driving into the pit really fast. Well, you would have if it hadn't had the control, right? So there's a control in place there. Oh, that goes full speed when you're supposed to touch the other door. Yeah, good deal. So I think that's a good example of some controls put in place to help keep this safe. And the rule says no bumping, but it's probably pretty normal for people to bump, right? Yeah. Normalized deviation. So I think that's a, I think it's a pretty good example of normalized deviation. So that's my hop thought for today. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. We certainly had a good time out here. In the very first race, I was in it too. I lost. Both these guys beat me, but we're not going to talk about that. Not this time, anyway. Maybe next time I'll beat them.